Travis Wayne Goodsell, a follow-up video to the uh, Elder Holland uh, fear porn video that I did. Don't remember the title. Uh, but uh, bingo. I'm always right, guys. Elder Holland's friendship with an evangelical leader has built historic bridges. That's where the church got their fear porn from. It's evangelicals. They started it, they perpetuated it throughout this nation, and Holland befriended an evangelical leader and embraced his doctrines and brought them into the Mormon church. That's why he lies. That's why he deceives. That's why he preaches false doctrines over the pulpits and over the other uh, lectures that he gives, such as the fear porn to the Utah Coalition on Pornography. Two leaders agreed that both faiths can do more to share love and goodwill, like fear porn, rather than animosity over differing points of view. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. That's how they get you. <laughs> Let's see if I can find it online, the different stages. First. Alright. Embrace. Alexander Pope. Vice is a monster of so frightful mean as to be hated needs but to be seen. Yet seen too oft, familiar with her face, we first endure, then pity, then embrace. There's other forms. Here's a tolerance, acceptance, embrace by a the preacher. Uh, tolerate, accept, or embrace. Let's see. First endure, pity, then embrace. <laughs> what? Did they? The church used that quote for pornography. <laughs> Way back in the Enzyme on July 2001 at SU. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! They turned truth and twisted. Oh my god! See, first you have to define pornography. You can't just generally say pornography. And everybody goes, oh, I'm scared. What do I do? Don't endure it. Okay. And then you get TYT, the Young Turks News. They're progressive. They did an episode uh, way back when of a BYU uh, female student who was given a letter from a male BYU student who said that her outfit was inappropriate according to BYU dress code. And so she shows her outfit that he disapproved of. And she's completely covered, fully appropriate for BYU dress code, as I went to Rick's, so I know all about the dress code. Uh, that's why uh, uh, I often wear collared shirts. Uh, the Hanes shirts, I wore those through high school, but when I went to Rick's, they said, oh, you have to have a collared shirt. So, bingo, wear the Magnum PI dress shirt, the Hawaiian patterns and whatever, and I had dragon ones and all their stuff, but uh, you wear that on the outside of it, got the collar, I'm good. <laughs> So, yeah, she was perfectly appropriate, and yet this horny mother beeping bleeping bleep lip 
thought he would condemn her with a letter. So yeah, TYT covered that, shamed him publicly, nationally. But uh, I, that's it just, I mean, dear God, evangelicals. And then they got to psychiatrists. Oh, yeah, uh, an addiction. Yeah, yeah, they got to come see us. Oh, yeah, well, how long have you had this addiction? Oh, it's an addiction? Wow, I guess I need your help. I'm not sure if I can pay you this month. Well, if you got insurance through these providers. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, But yeah, uh, this is unbelievable. Oh, there he is. There's the evangelical Gregory Johnson. Uh, the Holland Wood conversions. What? I thought it was Gregory Johnson. Okay, Doctor Wood. That's Doctor Wood, not Gregory. Dr. George Wood, former General Superintendent of the Assemblies of God, told Elder Jeffrey R. Holland in a recent podcast that he used to avoid conversations with the missionaries. Yeah. <laughs> now he welcomes them. Oh, wow. Lambs to the slaughter. Again, Mormons are not taught to go out and preach. They're not taught. They go to seminary. They just sit there. <laughs> they may memorize some scriptures, but they don't know scriptures. They don't know archaeology. They don't know anthropology. They don't know the history. We're not taught Jewish history and why the Pharisees and Sadducees, who they were and why they were at the time of the Roman period. No, none of that. We never get taught the, uh, the the fall or the apostasy after the apostles were murdered. But all of a sudden, we're given discussions. When Jesus and the apostles died, the church fell into apostasy, and the priesthood was gone from the earth. That's supposed to lead into Joseph Smith restoring it. And so, yeah, the church is backing off on Joseph saying, or the Lord Jesus saying to Joseph Smith, all Christianity is an abomination in my sight. They preach for doctrines, the philosophies of men. They draw near to me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. Their creeds are an abomination. And yet here we are, Holland is buddy-buddy with an evangelical and preaching to the Utah Coalition about the evils of porn fear-mongering he's not building bridges he's turning the church into evangelicalism and I warned you I saw the doctrinal changes I went hey that's evangelical hey my mom watched Billy Graham all the time, she embraced his doctrines, going contrary to Mormon doctrines. And you guys hate me. You guys end up silent. You tuck tail and run. Oh, I'm not scared, Travis. You're talking things that I don't understand. Yeah. They set you up. Dr. George Wood, there he is. Dear God. turning it into evangelicalism. That's the hinge pointing they were talking about in April conference. Do evangelicals understand that the Mormon church has designs to become polygamist again? Do evangelicals understand that? Evangelicals are, no, that's like horrifying to them. Oh, polygamy, evil. Do you understand the church is secretly going to do that again, guys? Are you sure you want to build bridges with them? 
You sure you think you're going to change their mind on polygamy? I don't think so. So now, church will stab you in the back. Just you watch, evangelicals.